We are back at Bala Lake and we're on to the second video of testing the boat. As you can see, the weather's a bit better and uh, the water's a bit further out. So we should be in a good situation today to do some waypoint missions and do some proper checks with the boat. So I think we've found a good place to test the boat. As the water level's down, we've had to find somewhere where it goes deeper as soon as it can, because I don't want the boat getting caught up on any levels or any surfaces underneath the water. Hopefully, this is a good area for it, but we'll, uh, we'll see. Right, so I guess we'll just chuck the boat in the water. It is quite shallow. It is really shallow. It's so shallow. It's on the bottom, isn't it? It must be. <laughs> I changed the setting with the ESCs and now I can't get it to reverse. So we're just gonna have to run it with waypoint missions, hoping that we don't have to reverse. Now, I don't think we will have to, but it does add an air of caution based on the fact that we don't know that it's gonna do what we think it's gonna do. And again, don't really plan on going out and getting it. So if you can see on my other screen, I've got Ardu Pilot loaded up on my phone. I think what we're going to do is we're going to just plan a simple mission and try and get it to see if, see if it'll do it, basically. We'll get it to go out and back. Right, we've got a simple mission laid out. So in theory, if I go into auto on the controller, it will, it will go ahead. I'll go into manual first and um, and push it out a bit and then see what it does. I haven't checked how uh, far the radio goes either. It's, it's now ELRS, so we're hoping that it has a, a longer range, but hopefully. So we're now in auto. Guess we'll see what it does. It's going on its own. Although I'm thinking that I've set the waypoint mission too far out. Maybe we should uh, cancel it and go for a simple one first, yeah. Well, we've lost connection now on the phone. It's doing it. What it's doing, we don't know right now. I do need to reposition the antenna. I'll get a bigger one, I think, though, because that is losing range now. You can just about see it out there. Not very well. <laughs> this is, I feel like this is a, a non-sensible idea. Uh, it's gone out, it hasn't, got, it hasn't done what it's meant to do, but it's definitely doing it itself, whatever it's doing. The problem is I turned all the throttle down in cruise, which is why it's going so slow as well. But it's fine on a lake to go this slow, because equally, do you want to know how much... Uh, it's using 0.5 amps. Well, it doesn't look like it's coming back anymore. I don't know what it's doing anymore. Oh, it's back on track a bit. Oh, but it's going that way now. It's probably deciding now to go over there where I put the battery in. Apparently it's coming back to here. It, it's still returning to launch. 
So it knows that this is launch. That's its launch. It did it. We are weighing the boat for the first time out because we've got some fishing scales. So, turns out the boat is very heavy at about 6.5 kilograms. So that's the boat with the batteries and both cameras on it. I was having a little bit of issues with range further out. Now I know that my antenna is currently inside, so improvements to make on the boat involve putting the antenna on the outside and putting it away from the electronics, because I think that's the main issue. But right now, I had the protocol set up to Mavlink because I was planning to try and get the telemetry back from ELRS to Ardu Pilot and set all that up. But the problem was I couldn't get it to, I couldn't get it set up. So we were kind of just using it as normal. I had issues with the ESCs not going in reverse. Now I don't know whether this is a bug or a glitch or I've just set it up wrong. I just changed it back, which is the Crossfire, the Express ELRS communication. It's now working perfectly. What we're going to do is we're going to run it out in manual. We're going to send it to a return to launch so we can just prove that the range is correct and then hopefully send it back out on an auto waypoint mission, which is the ultimate goal. Oh, it's back to its old self being able to reverse for steering so you get proper skid steering. So I think a good thing to test is uh, if we send it out a bit, return to launch. Look how gentle it is. Nice. We just successfully sent it out in manual and then did a return to launch and everything seemed to do what it was meant to. So the plan is to send it out on a waypoint mission now, just a small one, and see that it does exactly what it's meant to do. I can see on the controller as well whether the range on the RC is what we expect it to be, basically. For this mission, we've got the boat set up on an auto mission that you can see. We have a camera underneath recording the water underneath and then we have another camera recording the boat itself and then we've got this main camera recording the boat in theory. So I guess we write the waypoint mission across. We then, well actually, just make sure that we can run in manual. Fine. Our battery voltage is 15.9, so we're more than fine. So I guess we send it out. So we've got to be a bit cautious at this point of the camera underneath it. It's gonna have to just hit the bottom a bit, as long as it stays. <laughs> oh dear. All right, if I get, send it out a bit more. All right, I think we're good. So, we are gonna have a little bit slower, although it is running slowly anyway, but you've got water resistance. So in theory, you're gonna have a little bit more throttle of the boat trying to achieve the same speed. So I guess we'll just put it into auto and see what it does. So I do have fears that the boat is gonna hit the bottom, but in theory, if it hits the bottom, we can walk in and get it. If it doesn't hit the bottom, then we don't have to. So it's off out. Wherever it's going. We can still see it going out. Obviously you can see now that we've lost connection on the Ardu pilot. We will improve that eventually. You can just about see it off in the distance. I imagine that the camera on the left is really making it work quite hard to turn. <laughs> We 
can still see the boat, wherever it's going. It's coming towards us, so I think it's doing what it's meant to be doing. And then I've got it set so the last waypoint this time is return to launch, which I think is what I should have done to begin with. Obviously we know on the way back at some point it's going to hit the camera on the bottom. But for anyone that questions, it's really loud. It's not. It's, it's a little bit louder than underwater propellers. But the main argument is, on underwater propellers, the fish are hearing the propellers. On the propellers on this, we're hearing the propellers. And hopefully the fish are hearing them less. You're disturbing much less water than props are under the water. And it allows for us to actually be able to use this at all in water this shallow. For a boat that weighs this much, which is about three, three and a half kilograms, with the amount of tech that's on it, if it was to have props underneath it, the depth that those props would have to be would mean that we couldn't bring it as this close to the shore as we are. So we'll now put it back into manual as it hits the floor and I call that a completed waypoint mission. It just needed it to return to launch after. Right, so as a final trip out, we've got a camera at the front and we've got a camera underneath under the water and we're just going to send it out. If you can see on my phone, just out and back in and hopefully we'll get get a good sense of how deep it can be. <laughs> and back into auto. So we're just sending the boat out on its final mission, just out to a little bit of a further point, just to prove that we can. The plan is for next time to do a much bigger waypoint mission, add the fish finder on the back, and see how it does. Right now it's performing as, as we expect after we've done everything. We're expecting it to go out at this point, turn around and come straight back. So hopefully it does that. It's probably gonna go quite far out, I think. We can now see it slowly making its way back to launch on its furthest mission, really, I think, yeah. So it made it back to the shore all the way from its mission to 
I wouldn't say the centre of the lake at all, but it's probably about half a kilometre, I reckon. So, we've managed to successfully test the boat with some waypoint missions. We've got the new radio running, but we've highlighted something definitely that we need to look at, and that is where the antenna is placed on the boat. Now, it was a bit of an oversight to think that the antenna would be fine inside, but obviously it isn't. I think the range must have been about half a kilometre with it where it's mounted. In theory, it should be about five kilometres. I know that's going to be cut down because we're over the water instead of in open air. But as you can see on the mission planner screen, it only actually went down to 15.78 volts. So we've got plenty of charge still left in the battery, which means that we have no issue for how long we're going to have to do these missions for. I think if you can see in the background, I reckon we'll be able to get all the way to the other side of the lake and back. Hopefully, that is the end goal and that is the plan to do in the next video.